I don't know about you, but I've been watching Disney for years and the evolution from where it started and where it is today. You know, in recent years, I, I've started seeing new age slip in to all the Disney, not or not all, but most of the Disney presentations. And, and then one day, my granddaughter, the youngest granddaughter came home from school and she said to my daughter, mommy, am I a boy or am I a girl? And, and her mother said, why do you ask such a thing? She said, because my teacher in first grade asked me if I was a boy or a girl, asked our whole class. And I got angry, I have to tell you. It was a righteous anger. It was a holy anger. And I applaud the courage of Governor Ron DeSantis because of his coming against what they're doing in our schools right now. He's saying, you can't teach explicit sexual information about the perverseness of the world to these young kids. And if I were gay, which I'm not, I would be opposed to that too. Why is that so awful? Most people don't realize why it's so awful. Most of you that are viewing me right now don't realize why it's so awful. Because you plant a seed in a young, impressionable mind, and if they'll dwell on that seed long enough, it will grow, and a unclean spirit will attach to that young person and they will think that's the way they were born. But God said, no, I make them male and female. And they should reproduce. It's against every principle of every uh, thing in the Bible, Old Testament, New Testament, everything it defies. The devil has made his biggest move. But in the meantime, God has been at work. I have known for years that young kids love my television show. It's supernatural. They watch it every week. What if I did something exclusively, never before done for young children? And we're doing it right now. It's called Supernatural Sid. You will see the first videos of Supernatural Sid. It's a full cartoon series, the best technology that is offered on the planet. I don't believe in doing, you know, lower class things to spread the good news. I was trained under a woman by the name of Catherine Coleman, and she used to say, I want to do things first class for God. And the most first class place was at the time, it isn't now, Hollywood. And she went out to Hollywood to do her television shows. Well, I want to do something first class for our kids. And it's a cartoon series. And we're working on it as fast as we can to crank it out by this Christmas. The first uh, videos will be available. And here's what I know. Isaiah 60 says, in a time of gross darkness, and if I've ever seen a time of gross darkness, it's what's going on at Disney, it's what's going on in the world, it's what's going on with the so-called sexual revolution, it's what's going on when you can't say boy or girl, you can't say he or she, you can't have a restroom that's for men or women. Uh, I never thought there's be such a moment like this in history. The devil has made his best move. But Isaiah 60 says, Behold, the glory of the Lord will cover this earth in a time of great darkness. And we're coming into that time of the glory of the Lord being released. Jesus saw that time, and this is what Jesus said, You will do the same works that I have done and even greater. What if I did a cartoon series for children that would teach the invisible world, the supernatural, 
the glory of God. God, it says in Psalms, God laughed at what the devil was doing because we've seen the best move of the devil and this is God's moment. I want to show you exclusive, never before seen footage of this supernatural sin. But before I show you that footage, I want you to know that the most unlikely people are going to come to know God. You know, when children are impressionable, I don't want them to be asked, are you a boy or girl? If you're outraged about that, help me put together this cartoon series. It'll be more than just for our network. As you probably know, we have a television show called It's Supernatural. Our mandate is to bring the new move of God's Spirit. We're about ready to see a billion souls come to the Lord. We're about ready to see classrooms talking about God and the greatness and majesty of God. We're about ready to see the news not being the gloom and doom that we see every day. We're about ready to see on the news the new glory is going to bring a type of miracles. Jesus said you'll do the same works I have done and even greater. I want our kids to have an advantage that I didn't have, that perhaps you didn't have. You see, Christianity has been deceived with an intellectual, mental ascent of Jesus and not experiential knowledge of Jesus. The least Christian is supposed to hear God's voice, is supposed to see into the supernatural, hear into the supernatural, and have such a presence of God that when you walk in a room, everyone knows that you're there and everyone wants to get near you because they experience the manifest love of God, the glory of God, the goodness of God, the presence of God the atmosphere of heaven. I want you now to look at this exclusive, never before seen footage. And if you want to partner with us for the next generation of kids to not operate in sexual change operations, but operate in the presence of the living God, go to SidRoth.org slash kids. Take a look at this footage. Well, I'm really excited about this particular thing that I want to share because I feel like I'm here for such a time as this. You've heard that before. I feel that way every day. But I thought I feel, that was Esther. <laughs> it is, but I feel like it today more than anything I know. because I was involved. And when I, I would meet Sid at CBN, he would come on the 700 Club and I was working for the Christian Broadcasting Network. Well, I was the one that was assigned to produce the classic super book and flying house episodes that are seen all over the world. Millions upon millions have seen those episodes and grew up with them and in different languages. And then what, we're, what I'm excited about is we're launching an animated Bible story for children unlike any other. And here I am in the midst of it. And what's interesting is a lot of the people that have assembled to help us, our art director, uh, our voice person, uh, all of these people, are spirit-filled believers, they all grew up on Superbook. And so <laughs> that's like blows my mind. But the key is here, we are right now producing the first episode, which is the miracle birth of Yeshua, of Jesus. Oh, look at that bright star. That's the star of Bethlehem. And this is gonna come out Christmas time this year. And what we're doing is, I mean, I worked on the script. Actually, I had a privilege of working on a script with my daughter. She grew up on Superbook. And so all of these people are like, it blows my mind. But we're, we're actually, the story of Jesus as you normally see it is, you know, he's born in a manger and there's, there's that story of the shepherds and all this stuff. This goes beyond this. This whole series is about really taking today's children and bringing them back in time. Now, there's this character in this called Supernatural Sid. I wonder <laughs> who that's made of. But it is Sid as mentorer, and he mentors these children, and he invented these 
these virtual glasses that takes them back in time. But it's not just to learn about the Bible. It's to learn how to walk in the supernatural. It's to take situations that the children are going through today and learning how to pray, how to receive salvation, how to receive the baptism of the Holy Spirit, how to walk in the gifts of the Spirit. I mean, there's nothing that has really gone this deep. So this Christmas one actually takes them not just to the birth of Jesus, but it explains to them why. So Sid, through these virtual glasses, supernatural Sid, our character, takes them back to Adam and Eve and the fall, and why there is a requirement for a greater prophet than Moses that should come. And they meet Isaiah and those prophets that prophesied the birth of Yeshua, of Jesus. And so they all of a sudden realize that who Jesus is. And this is so fascinating. So we were having fun, our, our, our voice guy brought all the voices in of the different characters. The only one we were missing was Supernatural Sid. So guess what we did? How did you find someone to play me? <laughs> we couldn't. We couldn't find somebody to play. So I said, Sid, will you do your own voice? So we put him in the voice booth, and he was hearing oh, the kids Sid playing. Wrong, yeah. And then, well, Sid, how did you feel about that? Because you were doing the voice from the script of Supernatural Sid. You know what? I loved it because a whole generation is going to grow up understanding the invisible realm. Don't you wish that you had been able to? Your children had been able to? Well, we're going to have it. Go to sidroth.org slash kids.